Well, I guess that explains everything. Not everything. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 creepiest mysteries that were finally solved. You know, all these funny parallel trails uh, that are Clearly, there's some sort of common force involved. For this list, we're looking at puzzling crimes and historical events that were eventually resolved. Are you satisfied with these answers? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20, the fate of the Franklin Expedition. I will not lose another man. Francis we may lose all our men. For centuries, explorers sought out a northwest passage between the Atlantic and Pacific through the Arctic Ocean, but their expeditions often ended in disaster. It's the ice, Georgie. It's only the ice. One of the most famous was British Royal Navy officer John Franklin's in 1845. His expedition's ships, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, never returned. Search parties recovered only artifacts and human remains. With the passing of time, however, we've pieced together the full story. The ships got trapped in pack ice, and the crew died from starvation, hypothermia, and disease. The sunken Erebus and Terror were finally found in 2014 and 2016, respectively. Number 19, Pierre April. Some lumps of things come back that are not especially pleasant. Imagine waking up in a ditch with only $17 in your pocket and no idea who you are or where you came from. That's what happened to amnesiac Pierre April in May 1992. April was found wandering the streets of San Diego and taken to a shelter. Pieces of his life started coming back to him, including faces and talents, but nothing came of his attempts to connect to his past life. In September, his case was featured on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. I was so sure this city would bring everything back, and it did not. This episode was seen by an old colleague of April's named Carol. She phoned the show's tip line and told them all they needed to know. April was happily reunited with his family, and his memory has since recovered. It is strange to be told who you are and what you did. I'm someone again. Number 18, Umbrella Man. The assassination of John F. Kennedy in November 1963 prompted countless conspiracy theories. Some of the more interesting ones were about a figure spotted in photos and films of the event, who had been brandishing an umbrella despite the sunny weather. In all of Dallas, there appears to be exactly one person standing under an open black umbrella. Could he have been complicit in the assassination? He remained a mystery for 15 years, until 1978, when Louis Stephen Witt came forth. Witt identified himself as the Umbrella Man, and said that the umbrella was meant as a symbolic protest against Kennedy. An umbrella had been the trademark accessory of British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain, infamous for initially appeasing the Nazi party. It was a reference to Neville Chamberlain's umbrella. And with that, one of the world's most tantalizing mysteries fizzled out with a disappointing answer. Oh, I see. Then everything is wrapped up in a neat little package. Really, I mean that. Number 17, The Paulding Light of Michigan. Speaking of horribly disappointing answers, let's discuss the Paulding Light. Uh, I, we came out here because somebody had heard about it. We were just sitting around a, a night and some local people that we knew had heard about this. Paulding is a small community in western Michigan that houses a famous piece of folklore. One popular legend says that the light is produced by the wayward spirit of a train conductor killed when his locomotive derailed. Just outside of town, onlookers can spot a bright light flashing on and off at the end of a valley. The people of Paulding have many supernatural explanations for this light, including ghosts. One particularly creepy story claims that it's a grandparent looking for their lost grandchild with a flickering lantern. But the truth is far more boring. Turns out it's actually just headlights from a nearby highway. So yeah, bummer. Had people standing here having the pictures of the vehicles on the screen of the computer and it's like, well, that's it. And they still won't believe it. Number 16, The Somerton Man. One of Australia's enduring mysteries may have been finally solved in the summer of 2022. On December 1st, 1948, a body was found in Adelaide Somerton Park. He was wearing American clothes embroidered with the name Keen. Inside his pocket was a scrap of paper reading Tamam Should, Persian for Is Finished. The book that this paper was torn from was eventually located, and investigators found cryptic text written on the cover. We looked for people with 
no date of death on that tree. And um, there was one that stood out. In July 2022, DNA helped identify the man as Carl Webb. It's also now believed that the cryptic text found in the book were the names of horses, as Webb often gambled on horse racing. And finally, the clothes were likely passed down from his nephew, who once lived in the United States. Number 15, the bloop. Many people have a fear of the deep ocean, and it's because of things like this. The bloop was a very loud underwater noise captured in 1997 by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It was so loud that it was detected by sensors over 3,000 miles away. It doesn't sound like much at normal speed, but it takes on its signature bloop noise when sped up. <laughs> Believers in Cthulhu immediately went to giant underwater monster. But once again, the truth is more mundane. It wasn't a massive creature, but an ice quake as a result of glacial movements. Man, science can't let us have any fun. Number 14, Anastasia's fate. In the grave, there were supposed to be 11 bodies, but only nine were there. On July 17, 1918, far-left revolutionaries the Bolsheviks murdered the Russian Imperial Romanov family. In the aftermath, rumors circulated that Grand Duchess Anastasia, who was 17, had somehow escaped and survived. Her body could not be located, and several people came forward claiming to be the lost Anastasia. However, these stories turned out to be outright lies or the result of mental health issues, as was the case with famous imposter Anna Anderson. The long-standing rumor was officially put to rest when the remains of the royal family were identified with DNA. Grand Duchess Anastasia was among them, proving that she died with the rest of the Romanovs. Number 13, Lady Be Good. The World War II bomber Lady Be Good was used to conduct a raid on Naples on April 4, 1943. However, it disappeared on its way back to Libya, and both the plane and its crew were considered lost. No one knew what happened, and the plane was not recovered. That is, until 1958, when the crashed aircraft was spotted in the Libyan desert. This raised even more questions, as the plane was remarkably preserved and showed no signs of the crew. Where's the pilot? Oh, hey! All the questions were subsequently answered after an investigation. The pilots had gotten lost in a sandstorm and ejected from the craft when it ran out of fuel. The plane crashed, and the men died while walking through the desert. Number 12, Sailing Stones. It's one of the most bizarre sights that can be seen in nature. A lone rock stands in the middle of the desert. A massive trail snakes behind it, as if it's been pushed across the ground. However, no footsteps and no signs of animal activity can be found. These stones are especially notable in the racetrack playa of California's Death Valley. Uh, you know, all these funny parallel trails uh, that are clearly there's some sort of common force involved. So just what the heck is going on with these rocks? The phenomenon has tantalized researchers for decades, but the mystery has only recently been cracked. The valley floor produces a very thin layer of ice, and the rocks slide across these sheets when the ice starts to melt. The movement leaves indentations in the ground, resulting in their signature trails. Number 11, the death of Junlin. His mother still worried about him living in a big foreign city, so he'd walk the streets with his cell phone and stream images back to her. His message to her in their daily conversations was always the same. Don't worry, he told her, I'm safe. One of the most notorious videos in the history of the internet was uploaded on May 25, 2012. Titled One Lunatic, One Ice Pick, it depicts an Asian male getting killed and dismembered by an unidentified figure. So you could see that clearly the murder happened on the bed. Various body parts were then sent to schools and federal offices across Canada, and these remains were linked to the man who was killed in the video. The case made international headlines and remained a mystery for several days. But investigators quickly traced the grisly homicide to a man named Luca Magnata, who had already fled the country. An international manhunt ensued, and Magnata was finally captured in Berlin on June 4th, about a week and a half after uploading the infamous video. 
Speaker Rocco McNaughta, who's been the focus of an international manhunt since fleeing Canada last week, was arrested by police at an internet cafe. eventually face Canada's justice system. He's expected to go before a judge tomorrow. Number 10, The Face on Mars. Was there once an advanced civilization on Mars? Some of the features on the planet's surface definitely make you wonder. This is one of the most popular space images of all time. Taken by the Viking orbiters back in the mid-70s, the picture depicts the Sidonia region of Mars. People immediately noticed that one of the features bore a striking resemblance to a human face, or maybe one of those old-school hockey masks. Everything is proportional. The face is a mile and a half, two miles long. The eyes are a quarter mile, the nose about a half a mile. So it's not small structure, it's very large structure. Speculation immediately flew to aliens or some kind of human habitation on the supposedly barren planet. But nah, the answer is much more boring. Turns out this was just an optical illusion. The result of lighting, angle, and a low resolution picture. More recent and much better photos have been taken of the same location, and they reveal nothing but a boring hill with face-like characteristics. Number nine, the construction of the pyramids. The Giza pyramids are arguably the most famous landmarks in the world. They continue to stand tall literally after thousands of years. Their construction has baffled people for millennia, leading some to suggest that aliens must have been involved. After all, humans couldn't possibly drag and lift those stones into place, right? Well, yes, they could. Researchers believe that workers loaded the blocks onto sledges and wet the sand to make them easier to drag. They raised the blocks using ramps and levering techniques. This took tens of thousands of people decades to complete. But hey, no one said building a wonder of the world was easy. Number 8. The Tunguska Event In the early morning of June 30, 1908, a remote area of Russia was hit with a massive and mysterious blast. In one hour, the explosion and the great fire that followed destroy a region of forest the size of Greater London. People who observed that thought the end of the world had come, Judgment Day, divine intervention. This blast completely leveled over 800 square miles of forest and flattened 80 million trees. No source could be found for the explosion, so no one knew what exactly happened. It's an event and it's a mystery that would take 105 years of research before we could finally write the words. The end. Thousands of scientific papers have been written about the incident, and the area has been studied for decades with many trying to crack the bizarre case. It is now generally agreed that a 200-foot meteor traveling 60,000 miles per hour exploded in midair over the area, resulting in what's called a meteor airburst. This airburst then leveled everything below the meteor's detonation site. If it was a meteorite and the Earth had turned a bit further, it would have destroyed St. Petersburg. An hour later, it would have destroyed Helsinki. One hour later, Stockholm, and after that, Oslo. Number seven, the death of Ryan Stallings. Patricia Stallings brought her sick baby Ryan to the hospital. The doctors found what they thought was ethylene glycol in the baby's blood, leading them to conclude that he had been poisoned. He recovered, but Patricia was suspected of the poisoning, and Ryan was sent to live elsewhere. And I, I was just, I was devastated. I was blown away. I just could not believe that they could even think. I mean, Ryan was my world. Following a future visit, Ryan fell sick again and died. Patricia was again blamed for poisoning Ryan and charged with homicide. His mother, Patty, was now charged with first-degree murder and held without bail. She was not allowed to attend Ryan's funeral. She later gave birth to another son, and he exhibited the same symptoms. It was later found that both children suffered from a disorder called methylmalonic acidemia. An acidic byproduct of the disorder can be mistaken for ethylene glycol. It would be very simple to confuse the diagnosis of MMA with multiple poisonings because the symptoms are very similar. Patricia was released from prison and successfully sued the lab that tested Ryan's blood. Number six, Stonehenge. The awe-inspiring stone circle is an enduring mystery. Despite centuries of intense scrutiny. One of humanity's greatest marvels, Stonehenge has been standing for thousands of years. The widely accepted theory is that the Stonehenge landscape was a large cemetery, a place to bury and worship the dead. But where exactly did the giant stones come from? They're all pretty much symmetrical. 13 feet high, 7 feet across, and each weighing 25 tons. 
Experts have been trying to crack the case for hundreds of years. Some will have you believe that it was aliens, but no. It was really just the nearby woods. In 2019, researchers were able to do tests on a small area of extracted stone and sourced it to the nearby Westwoods in Wiltshire. The location has finally been pinned down, but one tantalizing question remains. How did they drag these 25-ton boulders 15 miles to the south? Clearly some very, very powerful people around at that time who were being able to control resources, control the labor force to create some of the largest monuments we've ever seen. Number five, the Centennial Olympic Park criminal. The North Carolina mountains, ground zero for the largest, most expensive fugitive search in United States history. On July 27, 1996, Atlanta's Centennial Olympic Park was bombed during the Summer Olympic Games. The blast injured hundreds, but thanks to the heroic efforts of security guard Richard Jewell, direct deaths were limited to two people. Move away from the town! Go toward the street! Anything but here! Are you kidding me? We gotta move! There's a bomb! Jewell himself was initially pegged as the culprit, but he was eventually cleared and the case remained a mystery for several years. The FBI was eventually led to a man named Eric Rudolph, who had committed various other bombings across the American South. Rudolph was finally arrested in 2003 and pleaded guilty to all charges. He was given four life sentences and is currently held in a supermax prison in Colorado. He had one live bomb and 250 pounds of explosives buried in the mountains here. He agreed to tell the government where it all was in exchange for life sentences. Number four, the disappearance of Jamal Khashoggi. Trump administration touched off a new storm of criticism over the killing of Saudi writer Jamal Khashoggi. The U.S. has sanctioned some Saudis in response, but the crown prince has yet to face any punishment. The case of journalist Jamal Khashoggi was all over the news in the fall of 2018. On October 2nd of that year, Khashoggi went missing while visiting the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. At the time, Khashoggi was living in exile as he was penning scathing articles that criticized the Saudi Arabian rulers. And I think his knowledge of the regime added credibility to his profession as a journalist when he spoke out. While his fate remained a mystery for weeks, most people had a good idea what happened. Khashoggi was killed inside the consulate. It was eventually revealed that Khashoggi did indeed die inside the building. And on October 25th, Saudi Arabia's attorney general admitted that it was a premeditated homicide. The CIA later concluded that Khashoggi was assassinated on the orders of Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. There was credible evidence that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and other Saudi senior officials were liable for the killing. Number three, the Golden State Killer. One of the most notorious criminals in American history, the Golden State Killer has gone by many names. He terrorized California throughout the 70s and 80s, sexually assaulting at least 51 women, burglarizing over 100 homes, and murdering 13 people. He was given different names in different areas, including the Visalia Ransacker and the Night Stalker. Only with time did it become apparent that these crime sprees were the work of one person. The name Golden State Killer was coined in 2013 by crime writer Michelle McNamara. The case helped inspire the creation of California's DNA database. And it was DNA evidence that eventually nabbed Joseph James D'Angelo in 2018, who by then was 72 years old. He was sentenced to life in prison. I think we all had come to terms that we would never see justice in this case. Neither one of them in any way, shape or form should have ever died this way. Number two, the collapse of the Maya civilization. The largest and most sophisticated pre-Columbian civilization of the Americas, the Maya flourished for thousands of years. They mastered mathematics and astronomy, perfected the first written language of the Western Hemisphere, and produced stunning works of art. The civilization entered its so-called classic period in the year 250, and this lasted until 900. It was around then that the entire political system collapsed, and the Maya abandoned their most important cities to move north. With this, the Maya civilization entered what is called its post-classic period. So what the heck happened? It's a mystery that has plagued historians for years. The answer was finally found in the 21st century. It turns out the Maya were so overpopulated that they damaged the environment and created a devastating drought. The extreme intensity of these droughts was disastrous. 
making a carefully managed response their only hope. With their agriculture thoroughly destroyed, the Maya were forced to abandon their most populous cities. Today, the empty jungles of the Yucatan serve as a reminder that even great civilizations can fail. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Vampire Clan One of the creepiest episodes of Unsolved Mysteries involves Rod Farrell and his so-called Vampire Clan. Farrell and his clan reportedly like to play vampire at various places around town. One favorite hangout was an abandoned building they called the Vampire Hotel. In November of 1996, Jennifer Wendorf found her parents beaten to death inside their Florida home. The case went unsolved for weeks, although police immediately suspected Farrell in the killing, as he was close to the Wendorf's other daughter, Heather. Farrell was the leader of a Kentucky cult centered around vampirism, and allegedly had prospective members drink his blood in order to join. That he would cut his arm and let others suck his blood as sort of some kind of ritualistic, uh, they call it being embraced, embraced into the family. The grandmother of a member helped police apprehend the cult, and both Farrell and a man named Scott Anderson were found responsible for the Wendorf's deaths and given life sentences. While the couple's daughter, Heather, was arrested along with Farrell, Howard Scott Anderson, Dana Cooper, and Charity Kesey, all who were sent to prison. A grand jury believed Heather was unaware of the murder plot and she was not tried. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.